I'm Chris, you're watching Fragmental. In this video, I'm talking about five brand new releases from Roger Parfums. Stay tuned to FM. In recent years, Roger Dove has come up with a new classification of fragrance called Parfum Cologne. He released a Parfum Cologne version of Elysium in 2017. It proved very popular, so he's expanding his range of Parfum Colognes. And the idea behind these Parfum Colognes is that they have the lively, refreshing, invigorating qualities associated with a traditional Eau de Cologne, but the deep, rich bass notes associated with a pure Parfum. And this just allows for increased lasting power of the top notes and the deep rich longevity associated with a pure parfum. In addition to the already released Elysium we have Scandal, Vetiver, Danger and Enigma of course the one I'm most excited about. So I've been trying all these fragrances, Roger Dove very kindly sent me these to try and Today is a bit more of a first impressions really, just to introduce you to these new Parfum Colognes rather than full reviews. I have been wearing them, but I don't really feel I've been wearing them enough to do in-depth individual reviews. I will probably do that uh, separately for the fragrances at a later date. So I found that wearing these, that the DNA pretty much remains the same. It's definitely the same identifiable DNA for each of these fragrances, but the top notes have just been expertly tweaked to provide a little bit more pop, a little bit more freshness and the way that this affects the overall scent profile is that it just makes them a little bit more versatile so not quite as heavy as the pure parfums and perhaps uh, more wearable in more situations along with the fragrances that roger very kindly sent me to try he also sent through some information detailing exactly what he's done with the fragrances so in this video i'm going to be giving you my thoughts on the fragrances but also referring to some of the information that roger provided the first one i'm going to talk about is Danger. Now, what Roger wanted to do with this was just add a little bit more freshness to the Danger DNA. And he's done this by boosting the citruses and the green accords, and also adding a little extra touch of lavender. It's really amazing, actually. I've really enjoyed wearing this. I would say that overall, it's maybe a little bit thinner, not quite as thick as the Pure Parfum, but projection was immense off this. Longevity was also fantastic. I got 10 hours plus. In fact, it was only after I'd had a shower and gone to bed that um, I pretty much washed most of the scent off. So really uh, fantastic performance. As the information would say, more that you would associate with a Pure Parfum rather than a much lighter Eau de Cologne that has those lovely effervescent Hesperidic qualities, but the lasting power isn't quite there. You do get this. This is a lovely, lovely take on the Danger DNA. When I sprayed this one, it instantly whisked me back to Milan. When I was uh, in Milan, I interviewed Roger and uh, he very kindly gave me a, a discovery atomizer of Danger, which I hadn't worn before. So I wore it quite a lot in Milan. So as soon as I smelled this, it took me back to the amazing times I had in Milan. So I only realized when I tried this one again, uh, how, how much of a, you know, the, place it's got in my heart because Milan was a, a very special experience for me. Let's quickly mention Elysium which of course many of you already know it's very popular. So this is a classic citrus cologne but with a modern feel. There's also white florals, there's some fruits, apple and blackcurrant, ambergris and musk. So very smooth fragrance, very versatile, very easy to wear. I think this has become a signature scent for a lot of people. I would say that this is the thinnest of the range of Parfum Colognes. All the other ones now in the Parfum Cologne range I think are thicker and a little bit more full bodied. So whilst performance of Elysium for me is pretty good, I find that the others in the line perform better than this in that they last longer for me. Let's talk about Scandal. With this one, Roger has increased the lemon, the bergamot and the petit grain, so it gives it an extra citrus freshness. Definitely has more of a pop, more of what I would describe as a fizz when you're comparing it to the pure parfum. Out of all of them in this Parfum Cologne line, this is the most classically masculine smelling fragrance. It's got beautiful notes of spearmint and lavender in here, so it's very aromatic. This dries down very similar to the pure parfum to me. It's got that same DNA, that cheeky bit of rhubarb 
in the base. Performance of this is just stellar. This is beast mode for me. Scandal is uh, a beauty. Let's talk about Vetiver, which is another very classic smelling masculine cologne. With this one, the lemon and the bergamot have been increased, so it makes it a touch fresher than the Pure Parfum. To my nose, when I compared the two, the Pure Parfum seems to have the citruses balanced with the dry, earthy, smoky Vetiver, so the citruses in the Vetiver are very much balanced. In this one, the citruses sing a little more, particularly in the first hour or so. After that hour, hour and a half, I found that this one aligned pretty much the same with the Pure Parfum. I couldn't really tell them apart after an hour or so and the performance of both the Pure Parfum and Parfum Cologne, excellent. I've saved the best till last, Enigma. This is my favourite from Roger Parfums, it's my favourite fragrance of all time. I just love that when you spray this on you take this immediate deep dive into this rich, boozy cognac, tobacco, vanilla ginger, everything's just so well balanced. It's a, a gorgeous take on an oriental. The Parfum Cologne adds some citruses, so it just freshens up the top a little bit, so it increases the bergamot, which was already there, and lemon oil and mandarin is added. So it just has this fizzy citrus spinning around for around 30 minutes, and then you're down into that deep, rich cognac dive. So it's just a little fresher up top after 30 minutes or so, I find that it just aligns very closely with the Pure Parfum version of this, which is beautiful. I would say that I found the Pure Parfum just a little richer, and that resulted in better longevity. But the longevity of this was still good. I just couldn't quite smell it on my skin for as long as the Pure Parfum. But with the Pure Parfum, you're not getting that effervescent projection that you're getting with Enigma. So I love both, maybe, you know, to get the best of both worlds, you would layer the Parfum Cologne with the Pure Parfum. I haven't directly compared this with the EDP, but I suspect the performance and longevity of this one is quite similar to the EDP, although with the EDP you won't get that increased citrusy freshness up top, but in terms of performance, longevity, I think probably pretty similar to this one. So I'm really excited to have this one and uh, yeah, as I say, I'm going to be spoilt for choice whether to use this or the Pure Parfum. I think it's going to be a mix of both. So there we go, five brand new exciting releases from Roger Parfums. Overall, I would say that I found these Parfum clones to be a bit more versatile than the Pure Parfums. A little brighter, a little fresher up top. Generally, longevity and performance matched the Pure Parfums, which I was really pleased about. Although, as I said, Enigma didn't quite last as long. Not that Enigma was bad, the Parfum Cologne version of Enigma at all. It gave me around 10 hours. It's just that I get a big longevity from the Pure Parfum. So these are going to be released very soon, if not already. Let's mention the price of these, because I think the price is going to be quite attractive to some people. The Pure Parfums, I think, are around £400 mark. The um, Eau de Parfums are around £240, I think. You may get those discounted at certain times, but they're both for 50 mil. With these new Parfum clones, you're getting 100 mil, and the retail cost of those is 225, so 225 pounds. So it's a similar price to the Eau de Parfum, but you're getting double the amount of juice. And I think the versatility of these fragrances will appeal to a lot of people. I think you can wear them in more situations. So my feeling is that this is gonna be a very popular line of fragrances for Roger Parfums. So there's just some early impressions from me. I hope you enjoyed listening to it and you took away some good information. Have you tried them yet? Uh, if you've not, which ones are you looking forward to trying the most? I'm certainly looking forward to wearing the heck out of these fragrances. I really enjoy all of them and I really am spoilt for choice. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you found it useful. Remember, keep tuning into FM and keep smelling good. <laughs>